Hi YouTubers, it's Andre here from the DIY bench. I thought I'd just share with you what um, my latest carving from my CNC table. Um, this is a tree. I got it off um, as a free file of the internet. And this is my first cut after I've done a modification on my Z-axis drive. Um, this took about, I'd say, over an hour. I was interrupted twice. Uh, I had to reset the machine once and the other time I had to attend to a family matter. So we definitely, I'd say, it ran for about an hour and a half. Now there's ways of, of getting that time down. Um, but um, I, I guess it's fine. There's a lot of cunning work here. This is 20 millimeter pine. Uh, I'm just gonna tilt it back so you can see. 20 millimeter pine. Um, the edge you see here was not cut with a CNC machine, although you can um, do that if you want to. I just opted to do it afterwards. It just gives it a nice edge and rounds it off. Um, what I'm going to do next here is I'm just going to stain it with some black color. Um, my table can cut bigger than this. This is the only piece of pine I had left that was just standing there. So I can go bigger. I can go about 1.6 by um, 700 millimeters. Um, that'll take even longer to cut, but I think this came out very nicely. Um, the only thing I would suggest if you're going to cut a file like this is to give some taps to the pieces that you cut out. Um, I'd say maybe one tap. I'm not sure about your cam program. Maybe they've got a limit of, of two taps. But um, I'd say give it some taps um, because I found that as the machine was cutting out, some of the pieces lifted and the machine would crash. The end mill would crash into those. Um, and that can really upset your, your, your coordinates and you, had to, you have to reset your machine, which is not always um, the best idea because you just, for somehow, you just cannot get the exact XY coordinates again. Um, I had a marker, so I could go back and, and, and reset my, my X and Y zeros. But it's like you just cannot get the exact X and Y uh, zeros again. Um, but, I mean, after I had one crash, where the, 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 the piece that was cut lifted up, the end mill got hold of it. Um, Luckily, I was in the vicinity to um, press the emergency button. And just again, uh, that it, it just shows you, you've got to have an emergency stop button. Um, I had an X and Y, I had my zero set up here. And I could go back and, and get my X, Y back. But um, I ran a V bit after the initial cuts, just to give me an edge and to clear up the burrs. But um, I was out and I was slightly out. Um, somebody that doesn't know CNC milling wouldn't, wouldn't see that. But um, yeah, so if you can add tabs to all of those cutouts, I know it, it, um, the bigger pieces doesn't really care because they, they just stay flat because of their weight. But the smaller pieces like here and here, and especially a piece like this is what caused my initial crash. It was somewhere around here where one of these pieces just lifted slightly up. But a piece like this and this and this and here, they're big enough um, to hold their weight. So I don't really need those. But the smaller pieces, especially one like that and that and that, and that, I would say, just add a tap or two. You would be glad you did. And you don't have to go through the um, process of resetting your machine or, yeah, you don't want your machine to crash on a big job like this. So I'm gonna stain it next. And I'm gonna hang it on the wall. I'm sure it's gonna look very pretty. Thank you, cheers.